Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker 2 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at a day and a night cycle that you guys can implement your game so it's basically going to turn the day dark into a night and then it's going to also go back from dark to light so it's not going to reset every day like it's a Stardew Valley game it does it the opposite way where it kind of just goes in a full rotation so the only thing that we need for this tutorial is we need a room so I just have a 10 24 by 7 68 room with a green background and we're going to be creating an object and we're just going to call it obj underscore cycle I think I, that's I think that's how you spell cycle I'm not 100% sure but we're gonna go with that one so in the create event I'm gonna get our variables up so we're gonna have the alpha to equal zero so this is gonna be the alpha of basically the rectangle that we're gonna draw over the screen we're gonna set the day to two I'm gonna set the night to two so this is basically like the amount of time um, that it stays in the day or the night and then it's going to switch back um, in the alarm events that we're going to be setting up in a bit and we're also going to set the color to C underscore black and uh, another thing we need to do is we can set alarm 0 to 60 and then GUI width equals display underscore get underscore GUI and then we're going to get width I'm going to copy this paste it down below, change this to height, and we're going to move along and then also change this to height as well. And that is everything that we need uh, for the create event. So this is all to do with basically checking if we change it back to day or night. And then this is just so I can use uh, shorthand variables further on. So it's going to get the viewport on the screen. So next thing we want to do is we want to go into alarm zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to do if alpha is lower than or equal to 0 0.95 because if we put it to 1 it's going to turn the screen completely black but we still want to be able to see our characters a little bit we're going to do alpha plus equals 0 0.01 and you guys can change how fast you want it to transition from day to night and then we're also going to have alarm 0 to equal 1 as well so it's basically just going to con continuously check um, this statement over and over again to make sure so it's basically so we don't have to put in the step event so we're just going to be using it within the alarm system which makes it a bit easier I'm going to do else if um, alpha is more than or equal to 0 0.95 we're going to open up another one and alarm 1 is going to equal 60 times night so that's basically how much time it is until it changes to the night and so this is basically to check for day and when we swap it over to check for night in the other one so we're going to go into alarm one we're basically going to copy this paste it over and we're going to change this so this is going to be lower than or equal to zero actually no it's going to be more than or equal to zero sorry i misread that it's going to be more than or equal to zero and then the alpha is going to be a minus equals 0 0.01 and then alarm one is going to equal alarm one. Just check it again. And else if it is more less than, sorry, or equal to zero. So it checks if we're now below zero. We're going to do alarm zero equals 60 times a day. And then that's going to set that back to the day. Now to be able to draw this, we're going to have to go into the draw GUI event. So it draws on top of the screen. We're going to do uh, creating a rectangle basically. So we're going to have var c is equal to color and then we're going to do draw underscore set underscore alpha to equal alpha and we're going to draw a rectangle so draw underscore rectangle underscore color to zero zero gui width comma gui height and then comma c c c c for all the colors and then false because we don't want an outline on the rectangle and then we're also going to set the alpha back to one. one there we go and then just to make sure that our alpha is working we're just going to draw a quick text nothing special draw text 10 10 string alpha and then that is everything that we're going to need for the tutorial today so we're going to go into the room put the cycle in here and we will launch the game and bang there we go as you can see it is sped up so much but it's turning from day to night slowly by taking away the image alpha and you can see the alpha up in the top left so this is at its uh, most dark and then at its most light and of course we can change the um, 
the stuff in the cycle to make sure that it works as well. So if you want to like, for instance, change the day so it's a lot longer, you could change it to four, we can duplicate it. So that would be now 60 times four instead of 60 times two. So then we're going to sit in it for a lot longer and then it is going to slowly fade back out. And we're also going to be sitting in the day a lot longer and then it is slowly going to refade in. But yeah, guys, that is the tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to go and support my Patreon, make sure to go and click the link in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.